Welcome. I'm Erin. I'm Nicole. This is this is dude. Dude. That's, that's fucked, fucked up. up. <laughs> <laughs> we can't do it. No. Uh, we this is dude, that's fucked up. Yeah, yeah. Uh hello dudes. How's everybody doing? I hope your week's going great and everything's good. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. yeah. I hope yeah. all the dudes are having a chill week. Yeah. Bra. Bra. Like, and I'm glad we put this out on Wednesday because Wednesday is the worst. <laughs> Actually, Tuesday's a pretty shit day. All the, the days are like, ugh, until Thursday. And then Thursday, you're like, yeah. ooh, it's almost Friday. Yeah. Although, exactly. let's be real. I go into the office two days a week, so. <laughs> Fair. My Tuesday is my Monday and my Wednesday is my Friday, so. Let's be real. I work from home, so. <laughs> Every day. I will shut up. Saturday. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't Yeah. Um, um, well, yes. Uh, any business for us today? No, I don't think so. No? You guys, it's our 51st episode. Yeah, we're almost. We're getting closer to our extravaganza of a year of doing this podcast. The next episode is a year. Mm-hmm. We got to work out the deets for, for that. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I have some ideas, but. Cool. Uh, yeah. I'm excited. It's I saw that, and that's why we drink, uh, just celebrated their year. We're, oh, cool. We're like a couple. Yeah, we're like right behind them. Yeah, yeah. We started around the same time, which is really fun. They're um, so awesome. Yeah. I just love Christine. I got a... a I don't know if I should even be. But you know Christine, so. Yeah, yeah. I got to save the date for her wedding. Uh, oh, shit. Yeah, I'm invited. Whatever. <laughs> it's like, wow. no big deal. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, my God. That's so cool. Yeah. So that's why. Shout out. Yeah. Um. But yeah. You, oh, what? You guys can buy t-shirts on the website, dtfupodcast.com. Yeah. Um, we that's ha- the only business I have. We have some fun stuff going on the Patreon uh, yeah. I need to um, – wait. Oh, yeah. We recorded our Q&A, so I need to post that. I posted an old Q&A because I forgot to post it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what's Whoops. this? Oh, no. <laughs> it was only like a week late, technically. Oh, yeah. A couple days. I know. We – yeah. We just don't have a good uh, like uh, schedule yeah. for that. It's like pretty loosey-goosey. So. Yeah. But yeah, we just kind we, of we but we do consistently post uh, all the content on there. So yeah, we post the rewards once a month, but there's no mm-hmm. like oh it'll be released on the second Tuesday of every you know yeah. we're not quite there yet, but it goes up. So yeah, um, yeah. So that's all the business I've fun. got. Any anything else? Uh, no, I don't think so. Any I don't think business wise. Okay, what about what, anything fucked up this week? Uh, I don't have a fucked up thing, but, uh, I had, uh, Pete's twin brother, Pete's a twin. Um, yeah. Pete's twin brother and his wife had their first baby and were the godparents. Oh my God. That's so exciting. Yeah. So I'm very excited about that. And we FaceTimed with, um, with them, like they, they, he'd only been born like 18 hours and we FaceTime with them when they were at the hospital because they live in Alaska. So that was really fun. And she was... Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. She was like so open about how everything went because she's a nurse. She doesn't care. <laughs> and I... Yeah. I love it. Yeah. We were just laughing really hard. She, and yeah, he's so cute and his name's Silas and... um. Yeah, he's just... I love that. Yeah, he's super cute. And I, we're going up there in two weeks to see the baby in real life, so... Oh, that's exciting. Yeah. So fun. Yeah. I love it. Happy birthday, Silas. Yeah, happy <laughs> actual birthday. Yeah. Uh, I did write a joke this week that uh, I said, I'm sick of celebrating people's birthdays. Plus, shouldn't we be celebrating the mom? When yeah. on the day that they've given birth, except uh, I think it should, instead of a celebration of life, it should be a day of remembrance for how their vaginas used to look. <laughs> well, like that's what I feel like Mother's Day is for. So, but they should get the extra. They should get the extra day too. Uh, yeah. To be like, I fucking did that shit. Bye. <laughs> like, 
Yeah, I get a present. You get a present. Cool. I get a present too, motherfucker. True. Yeah. Like I don't know. Every birthday should be a Mother's Day, also. Yeah, that I, makes sense. Well, I think that is a great idea. Uh, we should start some sort of present gift or card company so that we can uh, make money. You know. Yeah. It's like a made-up let's, holiday, like Valentine's let's make Day. The, yeah, like <laughs> Valentine's Day. Let's let's blow this up. I think this is. This is a good one. We're on to something. We're on to something. (laughs) I know my mom would appreciate it. (laughs) I don't know. I mean, I guess it would depend on the woman, but maybe they don't want us calling attention to their vaginas, but it doesn't have to be all I'm just saying, I'm just saying like the birthday of your child should, you should also be celebrated too. But then like, there's so many moms, like my mom, for example, who's so sweet, who'd be like... You know, I'm just glad I my present is you, Aww. and like is so like she's like like that's you know she's a good kind soul. But I would be like, no, I I'll take what you got. I'll take something too. <laughs> I will have it. <laughs> I did all the work. Yeah, you're just you're. Just, I grew you. I you know I pushed you out of my my cooter. Yeah. Like, what do like. What am I, chop liver? You know? Come <laughs> now on. that I think about it, this day has almost nothing to do with you. It's all about yeah. me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I'm like, my presence is a present yeah. kind of thing. <laughs> like, yeah. That's, yeah. Well, whatever. <laughs> but anyway, I'm a godparent. Yeah. And I guess the fucked up thing about that is I can't believe someone thought that was a good idea. <laughs> Aw. No, it's fine. But when they ask, you're very us, responsible. Yeah, you're I'm very a, responsible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's the only reason. That's the only criteria for somebody you choose to be your godparent. That's is true. If they're responsible, can keep an animal or a plant alive. Uh, Ooh. Just kidding. I don't know. Speaking of, <laughs> I need to check my plants out on the patio. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks. Um, they're succulents. They'll survive. But yeah, it, it was cute when they asked us because they're like, oh, are you sure? And I'm like, listen, I don't see anything happening. Like, I don't – it's fine. If there's, like, some sort of catastrophic event that happens, of course we would take your kid and yeah. make sure it's okay. But yeah. listen, I don't think that's going to happen. So, sure. Yeah. Like, we'll we'll be extra <laughs> cool to it and buy it presents. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> him. It's Sweet. a him now. Him. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. <sighs> so, um, what is your fucked up thing this week? Do you have anything? Um, just that I I watched the uh, the Elon Musk Falcon Heavy rocket launch this past week, uh-huh. and it was fucking awesome. Like, it was so cool. I cried a little bit because oh. they played David Bowie at the oh. end. Like, because they launched this. It's the biggest like rocket to ever go into space. Yeah, like, fucking. It's called Falcon Heavy. Like, that is, like, the tightest name for anything that's ever <laughs> happened. As opposed to, like, Falcon Light. I'm thinking of it as, like, a beer. Like, yeah. Like, I always call Bud, like, regular Budweiser Bud Heavy and, uh-huh. like, and then and Bud, Bud Light. Light. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. I So, I was watching that and, uh, and like, it's so cool. They, like, launch it and then the two booster rockets come back down to Earth and land on a platform. So they could reuse them. Oh, they like escort it up to space yeah. and then they cut return back down. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's in – it almost makes me want to cry again just thinking about it. I fucking – I love it. I love it so much. I love space. I love all the space shit. I love it so much. So the <laughs> fucked up part of that though is uh, of watching the, the Falcon Heavy launch uh, and being like kind of emotional about it was like – I'm watching like a live feed of it, you know, and yeah. you could see like all the fucking stupid Facebook comments. And in the comments, like all these people are like, this is fake. This is like, like totally fake. And then like you could see, like you could see like the curvature of the earth. So then all these flat earthers start saying shit. And I'm just like, God damn it. So I swiped that shit to the right so I could just see the, the video. But I was yeah. just like, I like, I hate the world today so much (laughs) because these people exist at the same time that we're literally have this like amazing feat of engineering and science happening in front of our eyes. Like these people come out of the woodwork and are just like so garbage. And so with that, I will segue into our topic (laughs) because it deals directly with that kind of, uh, I guess, idea of nonsense 
of nonsense. So today we're talking about uh, cons- the conspiracy theory that the moon landing was faked. <laughs> uh, my only uh, – I'm probably just going to be silent the rest of this episode – because the only thing I can say to this is, y'all can fuck right off with this shit. I yeah. can't. Uh, it's very upsetting. <laughs> I mean, I always thought this was like a joke. Like, I mean, I guess I always knew that there's people that believe that. If there's people who are earnestly uh, believing and that the earth is flat, which I have seen and listened to some people very, very strongly – argue that the earth is flat in 2018 and then so this kind of goes hand in hand with oh they're related they're definitely related so yeah so (laughs) uh, all right we need to just gather ourselves a little bit I okay I'm kind of stuck on you said I hate the world today and do you know that's like the first line in that song I'm a bitch I'm a lover I hate the world today <laughs> uh, blah, 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 all blah. these I don't know. flat earth assholes just please die and go away <laughs> that's not even to the tune but it's pretty good uh yeah so we fucking landed on the moon <laughs> we, landed we landed on, on the moon <laughs> Even in Dumb and Dumber, <laughs> a movie that is so stupid and about stupid people, even they believe that we landed on the moon. <laughs> it just, they just got, they just realized it a bit yeah, too late. late. Yeah. They just weren't like watching CNN all the time. Yeah. It was on time delay, but it's fine. <laughs> So yeah, so but no, there's there's real people in the world that have put this conspiracy theory forward for like decades. So um, as with the flat Earth episode, we're not gonna. I mean, we all we're gonna like talk about the the main points of the of the uh, the conspiracy, but we're not. I don't think we need to go into too much detail to de- to debunk them. No. I think most of our listeners are like on board with science, so yeah, uh, and they're not contrarians or conspiracy theorists, um, so we don't need to do that. Also, no. we don't. We uh, there's scientists do that for us all the time, and you can read a ton of stuff about it. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And un- unfortunately, the internet exists and gives a platform to people who can quote unquote debunk the the quote unquote popularly held beliefs <laughs> aka science <laughs> so um but that's not real so but what we're going to do is just talk about it a little bit because i i think it is incredibly fucked up again that we just have people in this world that are so <sighs> convinced that it's not real yeah um yeah, and so how did this all start? Yeah. Um, so some dude self-published a book. <laughs> <laughs> Just like he can with anything on the internet, but he published <sighs> an actual like bound physical book in 1976. Um, um, his name is Bill Casing. Uh, he's a naval officer with a bachelor's degree in English. <laughs> Ooh, I'm half qualified to write this book. I have a bachelor's degree in English. I mean, we know he can write, so that's half the let's see half the battle. Uh, in order to be qualified to write a book, step one, you got to know how to write. Got that English degree? Oh, uh, look, we're ha- we're- th- there's no more steps after that. I guess nope. I'll just do it. <laughs> Fully qualified. <laughs> So he doesn't. He obviously has no knowledge of rocket science or any kind of or regular science or regular <laughs> science. Yeah, you know how or weird there's science. this saying. You know how this there's this saying. It isn't rocket science. <laughs> you know why people say that? Because rocket science is fucking hard. And you have to be very qualified to understand it. I don't. I don't think he took it the way it's meant. I think he took it. Well, it's not rocket science. I guess I'm qualified then. 
Uh, it was like, I don't believe it's rocket science. <laughs> Is there even anything such as a rocket? Like, that is this guy's brain. He's like, I think. It's not rocket science because rocket (laughs) science doesn't exist. Uh, Yeah, basically. So he wrote this fucking book. It's Uh. garbage. uh, But he basically in the book says uh, (laughs) that it, that the fucking. That NASA faked this whole the whole situation. The yeah. whole moon the whole moon landing sitch. Oh. Um uh, Oh. <laughs> what? I don't know. How am I gonna make it through forty five more minutes of this? We're gonna go. I'm gonna okay, I'm okay. gonna I'm gonna roll through it. Uh but also uh I just made a note that like obviously he has so much in common with like the tub girl diet lady. Uh, yeah. and, and, and like, obviously Flat Earth, who made this book famous in the 80s. In 1980, oh. the Flat Earth Society's like, I think this guy's on to something. And then they're like, <laughs> everybody read this book. And then it actually gave it, like, a platform that he didn't have before because he self-published it and probably tried to sell it, like, on the street to, like, you know what? randos. This, uh, doing this, learning about all these goddamn dum dums <laughs> just really boosts my confidence a lot. Like uh-huh. I think I'm gonna just write a book. Yeah, I, I'm just gonna do it. You can, why not? And you could self-publish it on Amazon. Uh, yeah. So moving on. Uh, so what is the actual conspiracy? So, uh, first of all, though, before we get into what the like meat of it is, is that um, there's actually a lot of people more than you would think which is super depressing <sighs> that think that the moon landing was fake. It's not just like – it is pretty fringy, but it's like getting to the point where it's like – it's like almost like uh, people are like not joking about it. They're not yeah, like yeah, yeah. ironic about it. They're like, oh, yeah, it was – I don't – They're like, yeah, I don't, I think, don't was, think I believe that. Yeah. I, I, ha- I know somebody who said that to me the other day, and I was just like, mm. excuse me? They're like, yeah, it's so crazy. And I'm like <laughs> – there's so many things in this world that are crazy that are real. It's okay to. I why don't know. I anyway. don't understand why that's crazy. Like, uh, there's well, so it kind of much- was crazy. I kind of was crazy that they did what they did. Dude, but- dude, it's crazy that the Wright brothers built a plane in like 1908 or whenever it was when people were still fucking driving horse and buggies. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Like, yep. Yep. And I mean, cars were around at that time, but like not everyone had one. Uh, they built a plane and now we ride planes around <laughs> everywhere. Like it's just, I, know. I don't know. If air travel wasn't so widespread and like a common way to travel, I think people would think that it's not real. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like if it wasn't like a way for like for anyone and everyone to travel. Yeah. Like it, it's accessible to the masses, then I think that people would think that it's, like, not real. It does blow my mind that we can get to, like, like, I can fly to see you and be there in five hours and it's 3,000 yeah. miles away. Like, it's cra- totally That is crazy, but it, I've done it. Yeah. But also, <laughs> even if I hadn't, other people have and I believe them. Even the people who don't believe. So you, like, as the granddaughter of an aerospace consultant <laughs> – I, I've always been around planes, but as some, if you were somebody who's never flown on a plane before, but had family members or you finally got to fly on a plane, you'd be like, oh, this is so insane. How does this fucking work? Yeah. And it's insane every single time that you get on a plane yeah. and the dynamics and it of it crash. blow your mind. Yeah. And it doesn't crash. Yeah, yeah. 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 So anyway, it's very, it's, it's all very, very <laughs> amazing that we have the ability to fly. So, that in itself is cool, but that's not what we're talking about. But you guys, uh, hang on to your butts about how many people don't believe this shit. Hold on to your butts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the most recent poll that has been done about this to like gather data uh, was done in 2016 in Britain and found that 52% of British adults – believe that the moon landing was faked. Okay. Blink. blink. <laughs> what the fucking fuck? 
Over half the people that they polled said they think the moon landing. That is insane. That's insane. Also, Brexit happened, so no offense to Britain, but I feel like people take polls as a joke, and they did it to be like funny in their heads or something. I don't know. I like, mean, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> funny in their heads. You're I losing it. Hold together. Hold it together. <laughs> we still have so much shit to get through. I know. But uh, people could say the same about us in electing Trump, except we're dumb. We're Americans. We always have been. So we own that shit. We own that shit. There's a lot of fucking idiots that live here. Britain, you're better than that. You're better than that. Uh, okay, but to give context to this uh, poll, I think yeah. if it's the same one I looked at, it's a company. Uh, I think it is. An yeah. online mobile retailer did it, and it, they're called E to Save, like E the number uh-huh. two save. So uh-huh. uh, I think, uh, who knows? It's like a couponing app or some shit. So take that into maybe not the best. Maybe not the best like uh, uh, audience to yeah. poll. I don't know. We don't know. It wasn't. They were like they were like to all. Like BBC One, like <laughs> right, right. I don't know. Yeah, or like I, I uh, it wasn't like even Tesco shoppers or something. Like yeah. it wasn't like a good. I don't think it was a a nice swath of everyone. I think it was like yeah. maybe a very certain type of person. Either way, yeah. Either way, that type of person is dumb as shit. <laughs> and also, uh, uh, is it? Six. It'd be like if if it'd be like if we gave the the poll to like no offense but to Mountain Dew drinkers exclusively. <laughs> I like that you said no offense. Uh, the point being, we drank Ma- yeah. Mountain Dew in seventh grade and then we stopped. Yeah. So it's um, just a bunch of seventh graders uh, being like, "Do you think this is real?" And they're like, "I haven't even learned about that yet." No. Yeah. I wasn't alive until a few years ago. I don't know anything. <laughs> I I know um, something weird is happening to my genital regions, and I have my first boner. I watch YouTube a lot, so <laughs> it's definitely faked. Yeah. Uh, um, I on. just stopped Let's... picking my nose and eating it six months ago. <laughs> okay, uh, but okay. the same the same poll, sixty four percent of the people um, who were polled also don't believe that dinosaurs existed and i'm like Hmm. look the fuck around there's evidence of dinosaurs everywhere and you don't have to go to a museum to see that shit look at your pet lizard iguana whatever look at a bird okay they just uh, they just came out of no no nowhere like sixty four (laughs) thousand years ago don't you know they were zapped into existence four thousand years ago oh my god Anywho, um, oh, the thing yeah. that did give me solace is that only one in ten people believe in the Loch Ness monster. So I was like, all right, well, at least we don't have but to fucking deal with that. That kind of goes hand in hand with not believing that dinosaurs existed. So, <laughs> like, it, how could you believe in the Loch Ness monster if you didn't believe in dinosaurs? If you don't believe in dinosaurs, it's like the same thing. But only ten percent. But only ten percent believe in it. I know. I'm saying. That ten, like sixty four percent. Oh, like why people- wouldn't that ten percent also believe? You know why? Yeah. Uh, I I think well, because you're asking like you don't believe in it versus you do, and maybe like, like they they already don't believe that large creatures existed. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. And then okay, so I see why would reasoning. they believe? Why would they believe that a large uh, like, you know, because there's photographs creature- of it. Oh God. Oh, you have only ten percent seen it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But only ten percent. Yeah, so. I get what you're saying. Take yeah, whatever. But still, I was like, you know what? It's low, and that's good. <laughs> I don't know. Are we sure? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Um, but the most recent U.S. poll was done in 2004 among Americans between 18 and 24 years old. 27 percent, 27 percent expressed doubts that NASA went to the moon. So that's upsetting. Um, but that's the only poll that we've done in the U.S. recently. In 2004. When are we going to get to a place where people are like, where people are like sitting in a math class or something and the teacher's like, okay, so like, you know, X plus three equals 13, X equals 10 or whatever. And, and they're like, no, mm -mm, I don't believe like, yeah, like when are we going to get to a point where everyone's disputing everything? single thing that has been learned over 
the course of humanity. I don't know. I hope we don't uh, get to there. I think we'll uh, we're probably gonna extinct ourselves by Good nuclear annihilation oh, before oh. that. So yeah. Yeah. Uh but yeah, so the essential narrative though of the conspiracy and this is this is what it is. Yeah. This is the the whole meat of it is that uh the moon landing was shot on a sound stage in California and and Stanley Kubrick directed it. Huh. Like that is the the main main story. Of course it like diverges and has like people like different variations, but that's like the main story. Yeah. Uh I think the fuck not. <laughs> uh that he had is better uh, things to do. Okay. Yeah. Stanley Kubrick was busy doing the shining and shit. Yeah. And why would he yeah. Well it was only because he did two thousand one a space odyssey that everybody was like fucking Space Space. <laughs> he totally did it. Like that's I think where that comes from. <laughs> So there's that. Uh, um, they're so similar too. I know. <laughs> God damn it. Oh my so God. They both have space. A, a lot of uh, – so the proof that a lot of people who believe in this conspiracy point to is the quote unquote fact that uh, the technology in the late 60s could not have possibly been on point enough to have gotten a mission to the moon. Like I, like they just don't believe that it it, it was too complex. Um yeah, that they could have even shot up an entire crew of people into space, let alone land on the land on the moon, hang out, plant a flag, drive around up there, and then <laughs> hop back at hop, hop back in the lander and go back to Earth. Like <sighs> they cannot, they can't wrap their minds around the fact that that actually happened because uh, they don't believe the technology was that good. Oh so, my God. and like you said, the fucking Wright brothers built a plane yeah. when people were still driving around in a horse. With a horse and buggy. So, like, just because uh, you can't do this shit doesn't mean other people can't. Yeah. Like, it's it, it's hard to wrap your head around because you're not a fucking rocket scientist and you don't understand how this shit works. Yeah, it's fucking hard. Yeah, it's fucking insane. But we fucking did it. And it pisses me off. Sorry, I'm really mad right now. It pisses <laughs> me off that people hold this belief yeah. because it takes away from – major fucking accomplishments that people worked really hard on for decades and that fucking pisses me off that's a good point yeah um this whole thing just makes me so mad it's so annoying Uh, i don't understand how like a fucking mirror works in my into my eyeball but like (laughs) i know my eyes are working but i know my eyes are working and i believe someone when they tell me oh it's like the light hits it and then it goes upside down and backwards into your eyes whatever however that happens i've seen a diagram and And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I believe that. It's like how – do these people not think that, like, their insides are working and their organs are doing their own thing and, like, things are happening that they're not aware of? I, Nicole, I, this is all a simulation. Oh, my God. We're in a simulation right now. Oh we have no control well, over give me anything. the red pill because I am going <laughs> to lose my shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, okay, let's keep moving through the proof that these people have. I don't want uh, to. <laughs> I, I'm, gonna, I'm just, I got to roll through it. We got to do this. Okay. We got to let the people know. We got to let the people know. Uh, I'm on the so, verge of a total breakdown with tears. No. no. They're welling it's, up. I can It's not that bad. You, it's not bad because I just get mad because, like I said, it just is so, it pisses me off. That yeah. People have this and take away from the accomplishments of others. But okay. anyway. I bet I held it together. Let's go. Okay, good. All right. So another point that people make, that conspiracy theor- theorists make, is that the lighting and shadows make it look, quote, obvious that it's being filmed on a big dark sound stage. Um, we'll, we'll talk about a little bit more about that later. Okay, uh, Shadow King. You know everything. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the flag was waving is another – uh, point that conspiracy theorists like to call out. And no, the fuck it wasn't. It was uh, a flag that had an aluminum rod put along the top of it. And there were some wrinkles when they tried to get it adjusted. If you look closely, you'll see that the flag's edges are like pulled taut. And this effect, which is done purposely as to not allow the flag to just hang flat, uh, was created by, like I said, by putting a stiff wire into the fabric on the top. And the flutter 
was created as the astronauts work to erect the flag. And that's they, like, it. They twisted the pole around. Yeah, it's like – and people can't f- understand this because they've never actually – uh, experience zero gravity. They right. don't understand what the like. They don't know. Yeah, I don't know. So that's one thing. Uh, another, and then another thing. Um, oh, I think you made this note. <laughs> oh yeah. Do you want to read it? Oh, just that Fox News did a documentary in two thousand two called Conspiracy Theory. Did we land on the moon? And I was like, Oh, of course they did. Fuck off, you cunts. I hate you. <laughs> Fox News can. Eat my dick, and I will cut that out. <laughs> no, they really can. They really can. They could eat my whole ass and my non-existent dick yeah. because shut the fuck up. Oh my god. Uh, and then the another like the last point, the last. And um, there's a million more little things that these assholes like to point to that are not real. But there's one thing that uh, they like to yell about a lot, which is the tape. <laughs> the tapes are missing. So there's some higher quality videos of the moon landing that have gone missing, but literally can be chalked up to people being stupid that yeah. are trying to archive all this stuff. And it's been okay. like, what, 60 years almost? Or so? Yeah, like- if, if you can imagine uh, back then having like high quality tapes was like, it was expensive to like keep all this shit archived, first of all. And then they, and then some dodo... There was there is like some smart th- fucking rocket scientists working there, but there is also like people with not a lot of common sense. You could have a lot of book smarts. Oh, for sure. Look how you, socially awkward you have, some people are that are super smart. Uh huh. But then you have people who are not necessarily like thinking like, okay, this is already a thing that exists in the world. There's millions of archived like things, yeah. like tons of footage of it. So somebody over at NASA, uh literally taped over the original Apollo 11 moon footage <gasps> to reuse the tape for other important things. Oh, no. So that's that was the finding that they made, which is stupid. That should have never been done just for posterity's sake. Like, we, sh- we should have kept that. But I think this person probably thought, like, okay, I mean, what the fuck do we need to keep these tapes for? There's a million <sighs> things, like – like not thinking, oh, I have to save these tapes to prove it to people who <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah. You know? Like uh, I have to save these tapes as evidence, even though the footage is everywhere, literally <sighs> everywhere. Because uh, sixty years from now, some some fucking twenty three year old shit clown on is gonna fucking on Twitter Reddit is gonna, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is gonna be like, oh, this is a real hood. Here's yeah. why. Look, well, I'm, actually, <laughs> here's a lemon. I'm gonna pour a glass of water over it. See, the earth isn't <laughs> flat. It's like, oh, fuck right oh, off. Yeah. Uh, I recorded over my mom's uh, mixtape once. See, that's you know, it's you're just trying to be frugal. You're just yeah. trying to, you're no. just you want something. You got it. It's like, oh fuck, I need a tape. I got a tape over it. It didn't you know? end well for me because well, we were in the car and, and we were listening to the tape and I think I had a friend in the car and we were going to the mall and all of a sudden it cut the tape cuts out and then you just hear, <laughs> there's a hero. Cause I had of re- you singing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Acapella. <laughs> I mean, that's some insult to injury shit right there. <laughs> Having a friend in the car while you're getting yelled at for uh, for, for, for recording, recording over your mom's mixtape. Really and then it's super embarrassing. Oh, my God. It's amazing. There's uh, a hero. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Uh, shit all oh, right that's too funny <laughs> so anyway some dodo taped over the the tape <laughs> but there's like there was lower quality versions of it out there still and also like the whatever was broadcast to australia is the high quality tape like are you okay why did they tape over it i don't fucking what know 
<laughs> it was like, like another. It was another Apollo mission. Oh, oh, I oh, think. oh, oh! It wasn't like some amateur magician doing like tricks no. in his backyard or something. <laughs> No, it's like him doing like some nunchucks in his you know, backyard. No, no. Like it literally was another space mission. They're like, "Hey, get some, get some more tape. We need." And he's like, "Oh, I get the nobody gives a fuck about the Apollo mission anymore or the Apollo Eleven shit anymore." Oh my god. So anyway. So why the fuck do people believe this shit? We already talked about this on the Flat Earth episode. Yeah. Uh, it's like the, that kind of psychology behind people really getting into this stuff that's like contrarian and, and it's not mainstream because it makes, it's like – Yeah. It, it, it's because it's like they know something you don't know. Yeah. It and makes it's them like, feel smart. It makes them feel smart. They're not – It's They're not – <laughs> Pretty much simple as that. I think we'll and agree, when you yeah. have something that you could hold above somebody, it makes you feel superior and better about yourself. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. We go into a rant about it on the Flat Earth episode. If you haven't listened to that episode, I highly recommend you listen to us uh, <laughs> complain about that shit. Oh, my um, God. Yeah. So that's kind of that's kind of like why. And I guess – I don't know. It, this came from a dude in the 70s. Yeah. And he was American, right? Uh, no. So, well, well. Oh, the, was he British? There was the one guy who wrote the book. I don't know what his nationality yeah. was. Uh, but, but, um, I feel like there's a lot of Americans who subscribe to this type of stuff, but not, aren't uh-huh. necessarily leading it. Surprise, surprise. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. But there's this guy, uh, named Marcus Allen, who is British, um, and he's a photographer and he's a publisher and a distributor of a bi-monthly alternative magazine called Nexus. And I use air quotes around alternative because <laughs> it's not alternative in the fun way. Like, uh, no, it's like alt, alt in like the alt righty way. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> okay. It's like alternative quote unquote facts. Um, yeah. Alternative uh, facts. Yeah. Great. So he's like the Breitbart of and this is air quotes again, science, because it's obviously just a magazine that should act as toilet paper and nothing else. And is complete trash and pseudoscience. Got yeah, it. it's a trash magazine. Cool. Um, and so he's like a bigger name. There's so many conspirators that are like kind of... You uh, mean they're not conspirators because being a conspirator would indicate that you actually had a plan and we're like following oh, through on something. Yeah, no. You oh, mean okay. conspiracy theorists. Yeah. They're theorists. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Good clarification. Uh, <laughs> uh, like a co-conspirator is like, Oh, we're, you're ha- in we're hatching it. a plan. Yeah. yeah. Um, no. <laughs> okay. He's not that because, Oh yeah, no, he's not that. Um, But he, you know, there's a lot of these people that kind of take a stand and are kind of public figures, but he has a a larger platform because he has this magazine. So his name gets tossed around a lot. Cool. Um, And his theories are kind of like how you talked about the lighting. Uh, He's also a Mm -hmm. photographer. So he's like, oh, I'm a lighting's expert. And it's like, well, you've never been to the moon. You don't know what the lighting's like there, but okay, go on, like whatever. Mm -hmm. Uh, But I think all of his like, all of his examples of why this couldn't have taken place on the moon and it was filmed in like a studio or um, kind of like set up in a studio is all like shadow based. So he argues that the shadows aren't consistent with the position of the sun or the lighting source. Um, (sighs) And yeah, I just, I don't know. He, everything, I I watched him in a few different interviews. I watched a bunch of like BBC clips uh, where he's going and like trying to spread his garbage and it was just like, oh, you know, this, why Why is this shadow kind of weird, but this one's, like, straight on, but, like, this one's crooked? Or why, like, you, you could see the sunlight's coming from this angle. How come this whole side of the spacecraft isn't completely dark? And then, obviously, all those things could be debunked. There could be, like, reflective surfaces. The moon is a very bright surface. Um, so it can, like, you know, from other areas reflect, like, back there's just all this stuff but whatever we're not here to talk about that he's an asshole and um also (laughs) 
Uh, this won't surprise you because he also thinks um, his other conspiracy, which is related to uh, an episode a few episodes ago, um, is that JFK was accidentally shot by a gun in the car behind, like, behind him, like, by one Twice? of Twice? I guess, yeah. Because that's, he was shot twice. Yeah, so I don't know. He just. Uh, on accident, I guess. Yeah, both were on accident. A gun discharged on accident twice right into his head. Yeah, uh, perfectly, perfectly, like, to kill him. Uh, speaking of JFK, this is, like, totally off topic, but yeah. did you read the Quincy Jones interview <gasps> with Vulture? I only got halfway through it because uh, I was doing something else at the time, but I want to finish reading it. Like, I want to, like, sit down and, like. And really, really devote. Get into yeah. it. Yeah. Like light some candles. Yeah. Like get a glass of wine. But really he just... he had a uh, – didn't he have some he, sort he's, of conspiracy? He, oh, he know, he's like, I know oh. who killed – Oh, right. Because they're it's like, the is there anything – because he's like, yeah. He, they're like, what – Is like, there anything you wish you didn't you don't, know? Yeah. And yeah. he's like, oh, I wish I didn't know who killed JFK. And then he like goes on to say yeah. like it was like a certain mobster, blah, blah, blah. It was definitely the mob. Uh, which sure, I don't know. I mean, I, it's I don't yeah. know. I don't know. Anyway, thought yeah, that was interesting. Yeah, but um, uh, yeah, this I don't know. Anyway, so that that guy is an idiot. Yeah. Um, but he's like a leading voice in this yeah. conspiracy theor theorist world. Yeah. Um, so. <sighs> We fucking most certainly did land on the moon, you fucking twats. Yeah. <laughs> Here, so here's like the actual, here's here's what it is. Like, I'm sorry to like burst a bubble if there's anybody out there who's like still like, but the shadows of the fucking moon or the soundstage, whatever. Okay, first of all, the Russians fucking hated us. They hated us at the time. And we were in this massive dick measuring contest with them, and we still are, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. But they hate us less right now because of our president. Yeah. They're like, okay, well, whatever. Yeah, uh, uh, they – we had a literal space race with them. <laughs> they they put a man up into space before we did, and JFK was like, oh, fuck that shit. We're going to put somebody on the moon. Yeah. It was like, cons America. Yeah, USA. America. USA. <laughs> It was just constant, like, one-upping and just being, like, total fucking, like, extra assholes. Well, like, and JFK was all, like, fucking methed up. And he was, he like... He was methed up. He's like, oh, fuck this shit. Let's go to the moon. Let's go to the moon. We're going to go to the fucking moon. <laughs> I don't even know. Call me your living room. Get her over here. Uh, yeah. Uh, what else can we do? I don't know what else uh, we uh, uh, Yeah, he's just, like, constant, like... Yeah. Let's 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 make some more nuclear warheads. Let's yeah. launch the fucking twelve dudes into space. I don't give a fuck. Let's do all this shit. Yeah. Um. So we we just and then we he's were, like, who wants to fuck? And then he had chlamydia. Yeah. And then his <laughs> syphilis. He had an oozy dick. Uh, <laughs> sorry, JFK. RIP. Um. So. So yeah, we had this space race going on. Russia's like all up on our dick about everything mm -hmm. remotely having to do with space. So they would have been the first bitches on the block to be screaming fake news, like screaming like they did not put m people on the moon and they didn't and they never have and they accepted the fact that we beat them yeah. by putting somebody on the moon. Like why would – like why would they not have like called our shit out? They never Oh, did. it's a good point. So, I, so there's I that. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's that. And then, second of all, more than 400,000 people worked on the Apollo projects for almost 10 years. Yeah. So we had multiple Apollo, like, missions. 400,000 people, there's no way. There's uh, no fucking way one that of the, any of that could have become a conspiracy with all those people. No. One of the uh, BBC shows I watched, like, was super insulting to Americans. And it was <laughs> like, oh, I, this is paraphrasing but the the host of the show um was like uh nasa employs thousands of employees it's hard to get americans to shut up for 30 minutes let alone 30 <laughs> years how do you have that many people in on something who don't say anything and i was like hmm that's fair good point fair yeah. fair yeah um yeah i mean we have a hour-long podcast just to, like <laughs> talk about stuff that we've don't know very much about, so that's uh, fair. It's just a place where I could say dick as much as I want and not yeah. feel bad about it. Dick, chode, titties, <laughs> I don't know. Whatever you want, we'll say it. Uh, 
Uh, uh, uh, off the rails. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, also like there's 12 the, of the 12 men who walked on the moon and returned to Earth. They all talk about their experiences like completely openly and yeah. how it's like very detailed. Yeah. I don't know. It's like, I, I don't know. Uh, hundreds of thousands of people would not would would have had to have kept a secret that if they really did record it in a sound on a sound stage, there's yeah. just no way. Uh, and <laughs> the the whole like idea of that many people knowing being in on a conspiracy uh, is so impossible that it would have been a lot easier to actually land on the moon than to create <laughs> such a large conspiracy to fake it. Like that is yeah 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 like insane. Um, so. That's those two things are pretty top of the list for just being like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> one of that Marcus Allen guy, like one of his things is uh, that there's he's like it's a known thing that the that they practiced every all the landing situations for when they landed on the moon. It's a known thing that they rehearsed over and over, and it's like, um. Yeah, because, like, they're going to be on the moon where fucking nobody's ever been before, and it's scary, yeah. and, like, they might want to prepare. That's what experts do. They, like... You have to go through every single possible remote fucking thing happening. Thing, like, yeah. thing happening. Like, look at uh, Apollo 13. They had oh, yeah. all kinds of crazy shit happen, but they... Because they practiced and, re quote, unquote, rehearsed, if you want to call it that each possible outcome of something going wrong. Yeah. They knew what to do. And even when something happened that was like a clusterfuck of things that they didn't know how to deal with, they were so intelligent and such – they're fucking astronauts yeah. that have to be qualified to do this. They problem solved and figured out how to get themselves home safely. Like, yep, incredible. So, again – Going back to how fucking mad this makes me, yeah. these people put themselves in very real danger to do this for our country. Like, mm. they were the bravest people ever. And a lot of people have died in the space program trying to accomplish similar feats. And fuck that shit. It, like, makes me yeah. actually emotional and very mad. So. It's disrespectful. <laughs> it's so disrespectful. Ugh. And then, so then another point uh, that is actual proof is that we have all of these moon rocks and like dust and all kinds yeah, of stuff. Almost like, samples a ton. that we've brought back. Like yeah. almost a literal ton. They loaded the fuck up with like moon, moon debris. Chunks. <laughs> rocks, dust, everything. Samples of, ev of everything from the surface of the moon and brought it back to yeah. study. Um, oh, and not just and in the U.S. They sent that shit to the world. They were like, hey, we need yes. geo, geode, geological experts or whatever in all these different places. Look at this. What do you think about this? And they were like, whoa, it's amazing. Like, you can tell that this is so different because it was uh, created and, like, evolved in a place where there's no water, no gravity, yeah. no different, you know, no oxygen, all this stuff. Yeah. And they're like, holy shit, this is crazy. We, did, we didn't just take this mission for just uh, ourselves and like, for, we, like a majority. a flag party. Yeah. <laughs> like we didn't just do, we like, it was, it was information. Like we needed to gather scientific information about the moon and we did. And we, yeah. and we sent it to the, all the corners of the world so that other people in other countries could study it and, and benefit from what we had done yeah so this isn't this wasn't ugh. just a mission so that your shitty kids could have a moon bounce on their birthday parties and know what it's like <laughs> to walk on the goddamn moon get out of here uh, get out of here uh oh we're almost to the end yeah let's keep let's let's move let's keep it moving yeah Okay, so uh, yeah, there, there's all the there's all the these samples from the moon, and uh, except conspiracy theorists who a don't have a ge geology degree, and b have never analyzed these rocks themselves. Oh, when has that ever stopped anyone? <laughs> right, I know. <laughs> they believe that the rocks are from goddamn Antarctica. Oh, where <sighs> like, the they where think the flat Earth ends? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 
So tell me, how do you get to Antarctica if it's just the wall of ice around uh, the Earth? Oh, uh, how do you get a, how do you get to Antarctica? You make a ride at the Moon Rock Wall. <laughs> so yeah, they think it's like meteorites that have you know been collected from Antarctica. Which fuck off. Uh, <laughs> oh right, the the meteorite refuge. Yeah. <laughs> the meteorite sanctuary in Antarctica. Well, we actually do. We actually do find a lot of uh, meteorites in Antarctica because it's so vast. Yeah, and there, it's like we can pick them out of the off the ground basically because they're they're just in this tundra. Yeah, and it's and there's nothing else go. there, so it yeah. stands out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, and then the I guess like the last point to make is that uh, video forensic. Profe- video forensic professionals have thoroughly debunked the fuck out of the soundstage conspiracy uh, because there's there's all kinds of information on it if you want to like you know read what actual forensics video forensics professionals have to say mm-hmm. but basically the main thing is is that the shadows are parallel to each other yeah on the on the moon because of the sun like the positioning and the distance from from the moon allows it to be lit not bright but like it's it's it if you look at the pictures the 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 shadows are parallel and you can't have that with just a small source of light Mm. so if it was done on a sound stage the lighting used even if it was like the lit with the biggest most advanced lighting system that we had in existence in the late 60s it would have still made the shadows diverge from each other um and it just it would not have looked the same Mm. also it would have probably lit up the entire room because it's so close and it would have looked like it was daylight instead of like having a black background. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so the only thing that I guess could have done it is if you had like a laser so that it was like a focal – like, but multiple, multiple, multiple lasers uh, and focused in a way that would create the, these type of shadows, which I, I hate that I'm even having to explain this shit. Which isn't um, even – wait, did I read in your note or somewhere else that the lasers that they had at the time were red though? I mean, there was no yeah. way you could have – like the laser red. red. The laser technology was not advanced. It was no. like very, very like uh, – very new technology. So they wouldn't – it wouldn't have – and also the amount of money it would cost just to like – create a single laser which would just be a fine point of light yeah. uh like tiny little pinprick was like astronomical and it probably if you like wanted multiple lasers to create this like same kind of hypothetical uh artificial sun or whatever it would have cost well over the amount of money that was actually spent on the entire space program at the time yeah again <laughs> it's easier to just go to the fucking moon Exactly. Like to try to duplicate what these people are saying is like ab- absolutely impossible. Yeah. Um. So yeah, and that's pretty much the. I, that's all that I have the patience to <laughs> delve into as far as like actual proof and debunking. But yeah, you know who we should send to the moon? Who? All these fucking assholes. Yeah, I mean, Bye. I think I think that should be the next thing that Elon Musk does is like literally grab the most outspoken, not just one, but like group of flat earthers, yeah, and moon moon landing conspiracy theorists, and take them up in a goddamn rocket. But you know, everybody here watching it, like they'd probably live stream it or something, and everyone here watching it that's a that's like a contrarian would still be like, no. I don't believe yeah. it. And it's like, there's no point. Just get rid. Yeah. Get rid. Yeah, get rid. Yeah. Get just rid. Shoot him, just shoot them out into space forever. Yeah, forever. <laughs> bye. Uh, bye. They can carry Fisher and Star Wars their way back if they can. Yeah. <laughs> but they can't. Oh. Spoiler. Yeah. Um, okay. I so, didn't, yeah. I didn't realize nobody's been to the moon since. Why would we? Well, I mean, it's like it's been done. Like... I don't know. True. I know. Yeah. I don't know. Because it was, it, this shit cost like a lot of money. True. Yeah. And it was very dangerous. And it was like, we had all the, like, we brought back all the, like, material from the moon that yeah. people needed to study. So it was like, all right, we've already been there. So you think it'd be like a starter mission, though, for people, like, for, you know, you think it'd Just be like. Just to see what they could do. Yeah. 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 It's like how, you know, you go maybe, yeah, you do like, it's like training wheels. Um, but whatever. I, I don't think care. it's, I think it's that thing of like, like the 
the dick measuring contest. It's like we already uh, we pissed on the moon. Like yeah, we yeah. already did it. Like <laughs> we marked it as our territory. Yeah, and now it's like everybody is like shooting further and and like further and further and trying to do different stuff with yeah. their space program and so with their space I mean, dicks. They're space dicks. <laughs> um, <laughs> the worst subreddit of all time. Don't ever go to that. Space dicks? Yeah. That's a thing? Oh, yeah. What is but it? But it's, it's just the worst things you can imagine. Oh, no. But it, is it about space I, and dicks? No, 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 no. Oh, no. oh, oh. That's just the name of it. Oh. Um, uh, but China's going in 20... They're, they're planning to go by 2025. So cool. you know what they're going to see? Our flags. And then they'll be like, yeah, and here we are again. And everyone will, yeah. be, but everyone will still be like, no, no, uh-uh, there's no way, blah, blah, blah. And we'll just be like, ugh. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Here's your fedora. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Yeah. Don't <laughs> let the fucking door hit you on the way out to getting shot out into space forever. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, uh, okay. And then what else? Uh, oh, I was going to say <laughs> in 2002, NASA had had it. But uh, because they were, I guess, going to publish a book that refuted all of the most annoying claims. Yeah. But they didn't end up doing it, right? Yeah, they didn't because uh, – so they hired this guy to write this book uh, that was in, intended to challenge all the like – the conspiracy theorists who who think that it was a hoax. Yeah. Uh, it's this guy that they hired was is uh, James Edward Oberg, mm-hmm. uh, who's a former rocket scientist, MSNBC News space consultant, and an analyst <sighs> and journalist. Mm. Uh, and then it was later discovered that he was a moon landing conspiracy theorist. Oh my god! I could tell. How? Be- that's, I could tell because that's too many. He had too many job titles. He had too many. Ba- yeah. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. can't have the you're you're uh, you're one thing. You're not also a co-anchor on M- MSNBC and also a space expert and also like it's like no, it's like uh you're just you're you're Renaissance manning in the wrong way, right? I guess. Oh God, just given um, the surface of all of the yeah. things. Yeah, like he. I, I mean, give him credit for being a fucking rocket scientist. Uh, but yeah, um. So, yeah, so Na- NASA soon canceled the project, um, declining to give the reasons for it, but obviously yeah. because they can't have somebody <laughs> who's a moon landing conspiracy theorist writing a book about how it is not a conspiracy theory. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, and like a sp- yeah. So then a, later a spokesman for NASA, uh, Bob Jacobs, said a uh, criticism that NASA was displaying – uh, poor judgment and a lack of confidence in commissioning commissioning the book uh, caused them to cancel everything. Like it's like you don't need to say anything. You're fucking no. NASA. Yeah. Like you don't need you. Like I get that it's like frustrating that there's assholes out there Saying claiming that this real. didn't happen. Yeah. But like just like carry on with the mission and sh- like don't listen to these. I like I, if I work for NASA, I would be extra pissed. Yeah. But as just like a, a normal United States citizen, uh, still a proud United States citizen, despite this fucking shit storm that we're in. Yeah. Uh, I. I I am mad on their behalf, but yeah. I'm I don't need to read a book about it. Like yeah. I that it it accomplishes nothing really. So mm-hmm. yeah. I'm glad that it wasn't written. And like a, a lot of people like to point to that to be like, see, they didn't they wanted to write the book, but they didn't. And it's like because you'll just say it's a lie anyway. So why go through the effort? Yeah, like, NASA don't bother. Resources. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh. My final thought on this is, mm-hmm. um. Oh, maybe not my final thought, but I guess the best thing to come out of this for me personally was discovering um, this man. Everyone should Google him. His name, his name is Sir Patrick Moore, and he's oh. an amateur astronomer, and he's a precious gem of a human man. And he, <laughs> he's just a little old man, and he's British, and he wears a monocle in real life. It's so cute. <laughs> He doesn't look very nice to me in this picture. 
Oh, well, that's a screenshot of a video. He looks kind of so mean, but he, it, I guess if he I watch. He has a nicer yeah. face when he's like. like a, okay. I think you just, he was like saying something. So I think he looks uh-huh. a little scowly, but also he was fucking pissed because he's like, these people are asshole idiots. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. He's Anybody so that has a monocle who's like yelling about people being idiots yeah. i'm i'm ready for oh, yeah. it I, they go like, hand God in bless. hand i think to have a monocle what first of all he's been knighted so you know he's important you know he's real he he's can real. wear a monocle he <laughs> i think you have to once you're knighted uh they're like here's your pen of your knighthood or whatever the fuck you get your, yeah your your thing here's your, your certificate <laughs> Your certificate of the garter of the fucking robe or whatever bullshit. Yeah. And then and then here is your monocle. Yeah. That's what you get. Most people just leave it in the little uh, uh, commemorative box they get it in, but he wears that shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like how we give uh, like medals of honor. Like, yeah. Like, you know. I'd like never take how, it off. I wouldn't either. I'd be like, I'd just run around na- my house naked just wearing the, <laughs> the medal of honor. Yeah. I'd turn that I into I bet Joe a Biden does. <laughs> Joe Biden. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, okay. He is a precious man, and he has a monocle. Yeah. So Google, Google him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so my final thought is that um, – Did I say his name? Sir Patrick Moore. That's it. Sir Patrick okay. Moore. It's Go like ahead. the most British name ever. Yeah. Uh, so my final thought is that, okay, if you believe this, if you're still like on the fence, mm-hmm. just know that you're in some great company – with the fucking Taliban and the it- <laughs> <laughs> the Taliban does not believe that the moon landing happened, so you're you're in good company there, mm-hmm. and uh, the International Society for Krishna Consciousness. So I mean, I believe the Taliban doesn't believe it because it'd be pretty hard to think of how <laughs> you'd get a person to the moon with like a can opener and a fucking camp stove, like. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, how did they get anyone to the moon with, like, no resources? Well, the Taliban does not like America, so therefore any good accomplishment that we've ever made is non-existent, so obviously. Also, they're, like, like backwards and archaic, and they, I don't know. Yeah. Well. They suck. uh, Fucking, they're the Taliban. They're they're (laughs) shit. They're the worst. Literally the worst. Literally the worst. But uh, good, good so, on you for uh, being on the same page as the Taliban. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Have fun. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's all that I could stomach anymore. Yeah. I think Done. talking about this. Throw it um, away. My note. I'm gonna light these notes on fire. I'm gonna. Yeah. Well, I didn't print mine, but yeah. you know, I'm gonna just delete it from my brain forever. Yeah. <laughs> So don't believe in that shit. We actually did send people to the moon. So yeah. sorry to crush your conspiracy theory. Uh, or do, but then listen to another podcast because this ain't for you. That's true. If you, <laughs> Yeah, you might hate us yeah. after this if you really love it. Mm. So yeah, that's it. That's all I got. Same. Uh, you can find us on social media or At social DTFU- meds. Yeah, at DTFU Podcast. Yeah, uh, it's everywhere. And then you could also visit our website, dtfupodcast.com. Uh, we have a patreon.com slash DTFU Podcast. Everything's there DTFU you. Podcast for the most yeah. part. Yeah, we Gmail. have to sanitize it for the internet. So. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Thanks for listening, guys. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll we'll have a really fun next episode for our, our year – 52nd anniversary or not 52nd anniversary but our our year anniversary yeah i can't wait good i know all right uh y'all be excellent to each other now you hear unless it's a flat earther or a moon landing conspiracy then you could take a shit on their face (laughs) then you can tell them to lick your chode and fuck off forever (laughs) into space (laughs) into space Uh, all right and you know Uh, what i'll say you're a hero. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus All Christ. Right. All right, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.